psychological damage and brain damage and brain damage <laughs> but uh it always seemed to create conflicts with my uh like siblings they're like oh danny like freaking threw up on the church pedestal and now he's got to go to the hospital thanks you ruined my choir concert <laughs> i'm like i'm sorry my sister but uh i guess i'll just res reschedule the next time i almost die what is next tuesday convenient for you <laughs> no. But uh, the funny thing was about the me puking on the church pedestal was uh, I like just recently had my tonsils removed because they're like, hey, this kid's already dying. Let's just take his tonsils out and make his life a hundred times miserable. <laughs> That's a great idea. But I was like complaining that I like, had this funny coppery taste in my mouth. And like I tried to play it off, but then I like got out to the front. Uh, step and I was just like, Bleh! <laughs> there's blood everywhere. Oh. And uh, I just kept vomiting and it was like really awful because it like at one point it got stuck and it just started being like a sprinkler. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, after fighting the mob of angry vi villagers, uh, we got me to the hospital and I woke up and I'm like, oh, am I in heaven? They're like, no, just watch your mouth. You're in the hospital. But, uh, yeah. So, that wasn't the only weird thing that happened to me as a child. They, this uh, is the story of the time I almost escaped the cult. And that was fun. So, I got, received a special wish, and I got to go to Disney World. Well, they set me up in this village of, like, terminally ill kids. So, basically, the village of death. And, uh, it was fun. It was run by a guy in a rabbit suit that you took a magic train down to the pool and you could eat hot dogs and ice cream, which was really cool when I was four, but then I started to realize, I'm like, that's kind of shady. The whole town of eternally ill kids is run by a guy in a rabbit suit. And what made it more awkward was the tradition was he would come to a random person's house and tuck the kids in at night. And this was tradition. My parents were like, yeah, that's completely fine. But it was, uh, you, the fun thing was that when he was tucking me in, I fell out of bed accidentally. And you guys have not lived until you've seen a full man in a rabbit suit run into the bathroom crying because he knocked a kid out of the bed. <laughs> but uh, I guess my life has been like really weird after the whole cancer thing. Like I got in a car crash when I first got my license, completely totaled my car. And you know, I only had to spend the hospital room that I only had to spend one day in the hospital and I completely walked out with a, only a bruised chest. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, and the doctors are like, is he like a demon or is he just like really indestructible? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I mean, wolves tried to raise me when I was born, but uh, <laughs> who's counting that, right? But uh, it's funny mention, I've always wanted to tell this story on stage, and given the lighting in this room is the perfect opportunity. So, the night I was born, my grandmother told me this story. Now, my grandmother is very religious. I've never, like, kind of thought about that, but it kind of changed my mind after this, and it explains a lot. But... So my grandmother's waiting in the waiting room, right? This lady comes around the corner holding me and hands me to my grandmother. She says, this is your grandson, Daniel. He's going to be very special. So she hands me to my grandmother and my grandmother goes to ask her a question. Well, she turns the corner and the lady is gone. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> so, my grandmother tries to ask one of the nurses on duty, she's like, hey, 
this I'm looking for this lady. She was carrying my grandson, and uh, the whole time, the when the nurse answered her question, she's like, "Yeah, there was nobody on the floor that night matching that description." So. Again, I'm either very special or the Antichrist, but hey, that's just a theory, a damn theory. Thank you.